Hi everyone, and we're back with meandering. Uh, I'm Juliana, and I will be in your driver's seat. There is no back seat today, as we are playing in meandering. Um, last time I left off, we had just investigated the actual crime scene. Um, so I will talk to Prof uh, Inspector Jap to see if there's anything to say. He's not going to say anything to me. Great. All right, we'll try this again. I'm not being smart enough about this, apparently. Um, like I said the last time, this is a point and click sh um, and gathering of clues. We'll see what's up. Let's go to the register because I was an idiot and didn't check that out last time. Um, so this is one of the first puzzles we'll come to. Um, there will be a lot of puzzles. I like puzzles. We've talked about this before. Um, anyway. Um, ah! All right, um, oh no. Okay, basically, I don't know what- Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. <laughs> Ignore the buzzing. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. All right, so. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Um, you have to zoom out. Um, this is not my favorite puzzle solving game because of that. You, you zoom into a spot to click on do things, uh, but you can't actually, uh, so we've got some type of square here and then a dash dash. Um, and then you have to zoom out again and then you have to rotate. Okay, so, oh look. There's a mechanism for lock and unlock. So now we just have to go in and and undo that. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. So there's a five? Okay. So maybe that clue over on the other side was in fact an eight and not a box. Great. Now I feel special. Um, because I can't read apparently. Um The teal is full of money, but there is something strange. Okay, so we've got an eight, a five, and a two. Something is hidden underneath. All right, how would we get that? Um. Okay, we have we have lots of boxy things over here, so we just need a, a eight, five, two. Ah, and it undid it. Okay, we now have this the key. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Yay. Okay. So, I'm not a complete failure at life. Alright. Um. Oh, we could probably solve this now. The uh, register was undeserved, so we could probably solve was theft a crime. No. Um. But. And. You know. Yay. So we know theft was not the motive. Woo. One more step. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. Okay, so, um... The door is locked. Alright, we're gonna need our key, so... It took me a couple tries the first time I did that. Um, so... All right. Blood. That's that's not fun to find out. Um, Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. So, yay. Um, all right, let's see what we got over here. Joy. Um, so let's check this out. Uh, all right, so we've got a bird. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. All right, so I have to zoom out every time I click on something. That's, that's joyful. Um, 
it's a great mechanic uh, to make sure you're 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 not overdoing something, but it's also slightly annoying when you're trying to move about um, or quickly get through something. No, I'm not clicking on all of these. This is to remind me later what they actually look like. Um, Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Thank you, Hakif Perot. Um, so, um, all right, um, let's see if, okay, that one won't move, um, I just need to get something sort of there. <sighs> okay. I'm doing this poorly. I know I'm doing this poorly. I know I'm doing it backwards. I realize all these things. Um, and it's not that I don't know how to do these. I just do these a little bit weird. Um, it's just always the way I've been with these is I don't do it the way I'm supposed to. Never have, wish I could, um, things I have since learned, um, about myself, about- Um, what do I need to make this work? I need patience. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Now I don't need to be ro rotating all the way around the world. I can do this. La la la. I heard a faint sound as if something was unlocked. Sorry, I'll sing to myself to keep myself entertained. If you guys don't like that, please let me know. Um, let's see if we can open this. Mm, it is blocked. Of course. It would never be so easy. Um... So, as I was pointing out earlier, oh look, a mechanical sound. This is why I looked earlier. Um, okay, there it goes. Um, when you hear the clicking, we know we've done the right thing. Unless it's that sound, in which case I don't believe it. Um, Alright. Uh, no! Alright, there we go. Um, those are weird sounds. Those sounds make me unhappy. Um, <sighs> thank goodness. Sorry, some of these are really annoying to me. Um, because of the scrolling in and the scrolling out, and it's, it's just, I love the graphics, I love the sounds, Maybe sometimes see. it's the gameplay. Um, like I said, it's a particular, you gotta get things. Laudanum based co- It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna tell you laudanum now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, it's an opioid, ba it's an opium-based elixir. Um, very popular for a very long time. Um, then became illegal, um, obviously. Opium, not the best stuff in the world. Um, um, yeah, so. That was a cough syrup made with opium, so it's generally to stop pain, um, as most opioids are. So, um, something to think about. Um, and From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover, to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. 
Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, 11 pounds, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, so she didn't, we'll, we'll finish our observations of her room. This interior is very simple. Hmm. All right. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. And there's easy uh, ego points for anybody wanting uh, what a strange to get box. them anytime mirror appears. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Okay, this one is not the worst puzzle I've ever come across, which is saying something. Um, this button appears. Alright, I'm sorry if some of you want to hear him tell us every time that we have somehow, you know, done something marvelous, which is great, but, uh... Because I've tried to do that, and... Alright, let's see where we go. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Okay, so, that one. Ah! Okay, this can now move. Finally. That should do it. All right. Ah, okay, so it goes the other way. All right. Ah, no! A necklace of bright blue stones. A necklace okay. of bright blue stones. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, married Howard. Yay! Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. All right. So, um, I, we don't have enough. We have no more questions. Um, we've got two more. Well, we've got two entries now, and now we need to uh, investigate the surrounding shops. Um, I'm going to call this a good place to to stop this. I'm, I'm gonna try not to bore you guys too much in too long of a, a setup. Uh, two puzzles is about enough for both of us, I think, to deal with. Uh, and by both, what I mean is you guys, you lovely, lovely people watching me, and, and me, because I'll start getting frustrated and um, say things I don't mean. Uh, like I said, I like this game. Um, I understand it's probably a little bit frustrating to watch. Um, but please, if you like it, give me a like. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Um, constructive criticism, always welcome. If you've got other ideas, please pass them along. Um, like I said, I like puzzle games. I like RPGs, not that you've seen me play any RPGs, really. Um, I'm kind of all over the place sometimes, and not at the same time. Uh, please... If you see something, just toss me a link at it. Um, if you think I'll like it, I uh, think it would be good for either we're doing it wrong or a meander session. Um, right now, I'm just doing this for meandering uh, just because I think it's a good, decent game and 
It's fun. It reminds me of watching Masterpiece Theater growing up and wondering how how Miss Marple or how Hercule Perot were going to figure out the crimes. Um, probably describes a lot of my penchant for for uh, m murder mysteries. Shocking, I know. Um, anyway, uh, I'll cut this off now because um, I'm obviously babbling. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs ups, thumbs down, constructive criticisms. Uh, uh, you're doing great, or I would love to see this. Please, please leave that. Um, anyway, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.